This is a summary of ideas from our strategic plan. It doesn't matter that we will implement everything. It doesn't mean that we will implement everything. But we will take very close look on all the ideas you've presented. Hindi na nga namin binago yung ibang wordings eh, kahit na medyo off. But it's okay because we want to capture the spirit of your ideas. And later on, when the execom comes back sa meeting namin, we can sift through those new ideas. And we're so pleased and thankful for all the work that you have done. Maraming pong salamat for participating. Let's praise the Lord for that. And we really didn't want, ang ayo talaga namin to come up with ideas and then just to give it to you. We really wanted to get ideas from you and we are so pleased to get all these ideas. So, your mission statement, Martin, can you please read it with me? One, two, three, go. The topic commission exists to champion the well-being of Filipino pastoral leaders by mobilizing pastoral training institutions and individuals, mentoring pastoral trainers, and monitoring pastoral and church health indicators for future strategic decision. So ito yung core goals natin na ginagawa natin, the, the mission that we do every day as Execom uh, and as Topic Community. Uh, second, ito po ang faith goals natin. Say it with me together. Ready, go. The Topic Commission envisions to raise 5,000 new pastoral trainers, 5,000 pastoral health accountability groups, with 10,000 new pastoral leaders in the next two years. So let me just explain a little bit. Anong ibig sabihin? Kasi yung iba naguguluhan pa rin, alright? What we wanted to do is to raise 5,000 new pastoral trainers. Okay. Ang mar maraming sasabi, ang hirap naman maging pastoral trainer. How do we do that? Kaya ka namin binigyan ng matrix, remember? So that you can identify where you are and somehow understand what you need to be a better pastoral trainer. Ngayon, here's, here's the... Even if you cannot teach, okay, even if you don't have a material to teach, you can still start as a, an aspirant pastoral trainer. Paano yun? All you have to do is to gather a group of people, four more people, five, five in all, and then start a regular accountability group. Kaya nga accountability group. You want account Why? Because you grow and learn and... and, and uh, uh, develop in community. So kung may maganda kang accountability group, even if you're not a good teacher, but if you're a good facilitator, you are a good uh, connector, you connect with other pastors, lalo na yung mga pastors who are alone, doing the ministry alone, go and approach them and invite them in your group. Pray for them. Build them up. Encourage them. Then you're already part of the pastoral trainers because you are facilitating them. That's the minimum requirement for a pastor trainer. And then later on, you can develop yourself little by little by get, taking more, getting resources, gamitin mo yung G-Pro Learning. There are so many resources that you can share in your group. Okay, you build up each other and that's how you become pastor trainer. And then later on, God willing, you get more training. As you get more training, then you will influence more people. Do you follow? Okay, maliwanag yun? So, yung ibang tao, some of you, won't be able to train a pastoral trainer who can train other leaders. But you can always start by creating a group. And we know it's easier to measure pastoral health when a pastor is part of a group than just quantifying how many people attended your seminar. Kasi pwede ka mag-seminar sa 100, but that after that, nakalimutan nila after a week what they've learned. But if you're part of a accountability group that meets for the next two years or one year okay, regularly, I assure you that pastor will be healthier than the one who attended one, two, or three seminars without really in-depth uh, engaging himself in a deep way through the seminar. Okay, So what we want to do is to raise 5,000 new pastoral trainers and you can encourage other pastors who are part of your network, why don't you look for other pastors or emerging leaders? Kaya tinawag namin, we call that pastoral trainers, new pastoral leaders. We didn't call them pastors because they could be a Bible study leader, small group leader, and they're emerging as a pastoral leader. You count them in sa network mo. But when they decide to become a full-time pastor, praise the Lord. Okay? You know what, yung, yung mga pastor na, that I brought here, three of them, 
uh, our senior pastor at the back. Raymond, can you please raise, raise your hand? That's the back, uh, senior pastor. The one who discipled that guy was my wife when they were in high school. He was in, I mean, he was in college and uh, through the, his uh, professional life. And now he's a pastor. And then the two other groups, that's uh, Jero and the other one, uh, Jet is at the back. Malalaking tao rin ko. Sabi kasi ni Ramesh, healthy pastor, di ba? Kaya healthy ang leaders. Itong mga batang to ay nasa Sunday school class pa ng wife ko. And now we're mentoring them. And we, are, we're, we don't have any position in church. The only ministry we do is to provide life coaching for them. But they're the ones running the church already. All right? So that's the only thing you can do. You can be a pastoral trainer by just gathering a group of how many? Four people. Kasi yung attrition rate natin is 50%. At least you get two more that you can count at the end of the two years. All right? Is that clear? Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. Let's go quickly some mobilization. I'll probably take maybe five to ten minutes of your time. Is that okay? Okay. So mobilization, ang gusto natin, we'll be able to reach out to denominational leaders. Marami pong denominational leaders are not here. So the job of the Exicom is try to work and reach out to them. And if you know denominational leaders that you can connect with us, please connect them to us. Uh, we want to top ministerial fellowship. We want to enlist qualified pastoral trainers into the group. Okay? Yan yung mga ideas ninyo eh. Uh, somebody said to tap the Muslim background believers, tap them for pastoral uh, training events and leadership training, tap tribal leaders to become pastoral trainers by connecting specialized ministries in tribal communities. What a wonderful idea, okay? So, good idea. Uh, steps for mobilizing, identification, recruitment, vision casting, supervision, ideas. Another one is regionalized goals. Maganda yun, eh, you did that yesterday. Yung mga Luzon A, B, C, meron na kayo mga regional goals. Uh, we need to create working committees. We need to challenge you to think about stepping up as a point person for topic. Pray about it. Okay? If the Lord is working in your heart to step up and say, you know, I want to be part of this, uh, what God is doing through topic, we want you to pray seriously about it. And when we come and visit you one day, Please share that burden to us, and we want you to be part of that team, all right? Um, we want to create, uh, develop um, program and timetables. We did that, create video materials as teaching medium. We're already uh, talking with uh, our brother, our Korean brother at the back. Thank you so much okay, for uh, doing this for us. Did you see the video? Okay. That's only half of the video. I think they'll be working for another video for the whole thing. Okay. But we are grateful and we hope we can partner together soon to come up with materials, resources that you can use that are, being, that are taught by Filipino uh, teachers. Okay. Hopefully we can tap again Kuya Herman and Kuya Philip to do some sessions for you and then we'll, do a, we'll make that available for free for all topic uh, community. Okay. So identify and develop basic pastoral training curriculums that is transferable and relevant. Hopefully we can trans transfer it. Okay. Uh, monitoring the use of social media as means to monitor movement. And dami nagsabi nito. And so we will be coming up with a new Facebook page for the whole topic commission soon. At uh, mag-identify tayo dun ano, and we'll send you links sa mga email niyo. So if you haven't given your email yet, please go downstairs, look, at, uh, look for Ate Jo. Give your email to them. If you want to receive some of the materials that we presented here, dun po namin padadala sa inyo sa email. So it's important that you give your email to them. At i-check nyo ha, na tama yung email address kasi usually marami bumabalik sa aming email. Hindi tama. Uh, periodic regional visit and report. Hopefully, by God's grace, we budget tayo to be able to visit these groups. Submission of reflection papers online and video teaching media. Create an accreditation system for all non-formal partners of topic. So we talk about this seriously. Kasi right now, lahat ng formal theological education, they have pabats. Okay? Yun ang kanilang face, national face for all of them. And whatever problems they're encountering with DEX or the government, the pabats comes in to help them out. All right? Sa non-formal trainings, wala po tayo nun. We don't have an umbrella organization that takes care of us. So right now, we're seriously considering Topic Commission to become the face of all non-formal theological institutions in the Philippines, okay? 
So hopefully you can come with us. We can, siyempre, pag nag-train kayo, nilagay nyo. May training po kami, uh, topic, okay, and PCC. So at least meron pa kayong credibility that when you do training, nandun yung pangalan ng topic and PCC. We know that. And it's easier to quantify. We say, ay, nag-attend na ako ng training nito. Ito kapareho, pareho lang silang topic. Then I can look for other trainings that I need instead na nagdodoble yung mga training ninyo. Do you follow? So hopefully we can build that up. Uh, sustainability, hold periodic consultations, evaluate and recommend uh, curriculum that is needed, source out funds, and capacity building. So we'll be thinking through about that. And most of the, uh, we, what we'll do, si Kuya Hill will try to connect with some of you to help us build capacity. All right? Uh, sustainability, maximizing and utilizing social media for network of resources and building relationship. Kasama na yung kanina. Prayer hubs. Hopefully, we can build up prayer hubs. Please pray for me. I'm uh, in the middle of trying to write another book for the church. Uh, the title is Teach the Church to Pray. But what we wanted to do is to make this available online instead of having it published, at least the first few ones. Okay? So we are building that with GPRO Commission. We want to uh, disseminate that to the GPRO Commission. And hopefully, once that's done, we can cascade that down to you and we can build more prayer into the life of our pastors and churches. Uh, periodic GPRO events, retreats, and topic conferences. Hopefully, we can have two more. No, uh, Kuya Hill is thinking of doing one at the uh, middle of next year and then another one at the start of 2020 before we culminate sa October 19 to 21, 2020. All right? So, i-reserve niya niyon. Meron na tayong jeep. We just don't know where we will do it. And it might be a bigger event because that time is not going to be a planning event. It's going to be an event to encourage, build you up, and strengthen the community of pastors. Okay? So, that's going to be a big event 2020. Um, and then we have a setup of structure for financial support. Pray for Kuya Hill is going to meet with, hopefully, be able to meet with a potential supporter by October 30. Bayan. Really pray that we can get some money because honestly, we don't have a single cent. Nothing. At yung ginawa namin dito, may utang pa kami rito, and we're trying to raise funds for this. We lack 85,000 pesos when we came here the other day. 46 na lang, pero may 46 pa kami utang. And we feel bad for those who said they're coming. Diba sabi namin, hindi kayo pwedeng pumunta pag hindi kayo nag-register, hindi namin in na makakapunta kayo. We have to say no to how many people? 200 people. Sorry po, hindi ko kayo pwede kasi na-reserve na namin. And 30 people didn't come. May ID sila. We serve food for them and, and place. And that's a wasted opportunity for all the 200 who should have come. Uh, here's the qu qu computation kagabi. Hindi po tayo umabot. We didn't reach the 5,000 mark for the pastoral trainers. Kulang po tayo ng about 700. People. So we only have uh, 4,300 who committed to raise pastor trainers. But that's okay. Kasi yung execom, kami mga execom, wala pa naman kami binibigay na commitment then. So mabigat ang commitment ng execom kasi they have to find the 700 na kailangan namin challenge to fill that gap. Okay? Para at least may 5,068 tayo. Alright? So hopefully we can still push through with 5,000. Yes. Yes. Yes, apo. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you. So I'm sure ma-reach ma natin tong 5,000 even more. Yes po. In uh, topic in zone A, only those who attended that submit their uh, capacity. We are 13 in... in yes. We, we, uh, we are only 5 uh, submitting that... Uh, okay. So Praise the Lord. So pagbalik nyo po doon, you can challenge them and re-echo this call. I'm sure we'll be able to reach more than 5,000. Right? Plus, wala pa po masyadong representative ang um, formal education. Kung konti lang kayo eh, no? mga formal, and we have a lot of people sa PABATS who are part of that. Do you know that there's 300 
300 formal theological education in the Philippines. 300. In Japan, there's only 20 for the whole Japan. Sa Pilipinas, 300. What's the sad part? The average graduates, number of graduates from formal theological education every year is only 300. One is to one. That means many of these formal theological education are not really producing pastoral leaders. Okay? So, can you imagine if uh, ATS, mag-graduate sila, if ATS has 20, p 30 people who graduated that year, then that means about 30 uh, seminaries didn't graduate anybody, didn't have any graduate that year, okay? Um, pastoral health accountability, siyempre, we just multiplied that, the same number, because we're hoping that they, in turn, will also build accountability. So, pareho lang yung number the number of pastoral trainers, we're hoping that you, as a pastoral trainer, will build your own community. Four people each. Tama? Five kayo sa group. Band of brothers, five. Okay? And then, if we translate that into pastoral leaders, we have attrition rate of 50%. Then we, have, we still have 10,000. The reason why some of them are not the same, kasi dapat yan times four. It should be times four. Because some groups already said this is the, the only the number of pastoral leaders we can raise at the moment. Okay? So that's fine. It changes. Some of you won't be able to raise pastoral trainers. You can just raise pastoral leaders and that's fine. We will just add that to the number later on two years from now. Alright? Okay. Finally, the next GPRO is going to be October 19 to 21, 2020. So get excited. We're hoping we can do it in a bigger event, and by that time, hope, we hope we have more money uh, that we can use so that we can accommodate more people. But next time, wala na pong libre. What we will do, we will bring the, the registration as affordable as we can, all right? That's our promise namin. Piso, mula sa puso. Piso ang registration, pero ang pagkain ay 1,500. <laughs> <clears throat> so, tignan natin, we'll, we're praying that we can bring it down. We don't want anybody not to come only because of money. It shouldn't be the case. No one should be able to, should be prevented from joining us only because of money issue. Okay? So, we'll make sure of that. Um, last, uh, we'll ask uh, the good guys at the back to please distribute this small sheet of paper. Small lang rin, one for shit, because we don't want you to write so many things, okay? What we want you to do is to think of one, what have you been blessed with in this conference? Just one. Alam ko, kung marami yan, then pick the best. Just one, all right? And then second, what you want, you w share something you want to see improved in our next GPRO event. Just one, okay? Kasi pag marami naman yan, magkakapareho. So just share one of these ideas. You don't have to give that right now. We'll call si Pastor Hill for the next uh, phase of our talk. But uh, you can write it down and then later, after the whole event, you can give it back to us sa back or kuya Ati Joe. Alright? Thank you so much for listening. Kuya Hill.